This is the result of filming done at Invermay last month. The video released on the internet follows filming done recently by former Invermay scientist and director Jock Ellison and others, but of those involved in the effort that challenges ag research plans to slash the number of scientists there and shift them to Lincoln, it was only Dr Ellison who got a reprimand in his mailbox. Quite surprisingly, a few days later I got a letter from um, one of the ag research senior executives um, in effect banning me from the campus. The letter came from a Lincoln-based ag research director. It says as a former employee, Dr Ellison should be aware of rules for visitors. Turning up without authorisation to film on the property was unacceptable. Dr Ellison thinks otherwise. I just thought it was a little bit pathetic really. I would have thought with all the problems they've got in ag research, um, they would concentrate on the big issues. I don't intend to take any notice of it anyway. That view was backed up by Dunedin North Labor MP Dr David Clark, who was part of the filming. He says the response to the former director whose name features on plaques on the Invermay walls was over the top, a sign of an organisation in panic mode and a public relations fail. But Ag Research responded this afternoon the letter was sent because Dr Ellison did not follow the standard protocols and filmed on the campus without permission. The organisation says Dr Clark was spoken to at the time and he apologised for being on campus without authorisation and filming and with plans for Invermay yet to be finalised and plenty of passion involved in the debate, don't expect a cessation of hostilities anytime soon. David Lockray, 39, Dunedin News.